International Women's Day and what might be the most appropriate holiday to come next is Harriet Tubman Day on Sunday. And this year, Tubman's home in the city of Auburn will celebrate the federal holiday in a bigger and better way than ever. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan tonight has the honor of sitting down with Harriet Tubman's great-great-grandniece, who will be honored on Sunday. <laughs> Pauline Copes Johnson is something of a celebrity in Auburn as the great great grandniece of freed slave turned abolitionist Harriet Tubman. I'm glad she's getting recognition now. It's been a long time coming. Including at the Equal Rights Heritage Center, where we sat down with Pauline. When you look at her picture, how do you feel? I, I think my heart jumps <laughs> right out of my chest. <laughs> Pauline didn't grow up knowing she was a descendant of one of the most influential women in American history. In fact, she didn't find out until she was 25. I, I couldn't believe when my aunt, my mother's sister, told me that I was a relative. And I, I couldn't believe it. I said, not me. And she said, yes, you are. When she found out, Johnson dedicated her life to researching Tubman. Despite all of her great-great-aunt's hard work, Johnson grew up witnessing racism. She remembers her mom working at a local hospital, but not being allowed to deliver a baby there. I'm glad that times have changed for the better, but uh, I think that was ridiculous that they wouldn't let African Americans in the hospital. I don't know what, what, I, what were they thinking? We're going to tear the place apart or something. In her opinion, African Americans still aren't free, treated differently, or overlooked for opportunities. But she's continuing the fight in Harriet's tradition. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of her because she was the woman who helped change the outcome of these United States. Aunt Harriet would be proud of her great great grandniece. In Auburn, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Her picture all across. And Johnson helped get Tubman pictured on the $20 bill, a decision made by the Treasury Department under President Obama. Now, it was supposed to come out in 2020, but its status isn't clear since President Trump was inaugurated. The Treasury Department has said its first focus is protecting currency from counterfeit. 